Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and to my YouTube channel. Um, what we're going to do today is talk about beyond painting. And what I mean by that, I'm, I'm sure you've done the same thing that I do frequently, is that you start a painting and you don't finish it, something happens, it gets in the way, and maybe you want to come back and finish it later, but you, it's, you know, you can't paint on it anymore. You, you just want to try and capture whatever's there and make it work. Or maybe it's too light and you need to increase the contrast or, or do something that's going to make the painting work better for you. And the example that I'm working on, this is a clone uh, painting of a beautiful photograph by Melissa Gallo, uh, Beautiful Rose. But I wasn't trying to finish uh, the painting. I was just trying to get a... Um, to, to test clone brushes to sort of see how they were working and and the end result of a painting wasn't in my mind so anyway i was looking through this folder that had this particular painting in it and i looked at it and i thought you know that's kind of kind of nice i like the loose feeling of it and so forth but i would like to maybe grab something here and and you know make it pop pull it back together where it's more of a painting and so that's what we're going to be doing today. And again, it's going to be a series of videos. Some of the stuff might be new to you. Some of it's probably old. Some of it I've demonstrated before. And so let's get started. The first thing that I want to do for this particular image is it's sort of pale. And I want to increase uh, the richness of the paint. I don't really want to do saturation right now. I don't really want to do a do value changes i just want to double what's there and the easiest way to do that is to uh, come in here and go Control a or command a for the mac and that will select all then if you go to your layer adjuster tool and you hold down the alt key or the option key for a mac and click in the middle of the image it will duplicate the canvas leave the canvas there and duplicate it now, at this point, I'm going to take this top layer and change it to gel. Whoa! <laughs> and that makes it, you know, pretty, pretty dark. Um, but it, it's a lot better than it was before. Now, the problem is it, it darkens everything. It darkens the whites. and um, So everything goes down in value, I guess, would be the way to say it. And you, I don't want that to happen. I want to keep some of this lighter value. So what I'm going to do, by the way, the reason I just went from layer to canvas and back up is sometimes when you, well, actually every time when you go uh, lift this, not lift, but uh, duplicate the canvas layer, these little icons will be grayed out. And if you just come back to the canvas layer and back up to layer one, they'll be working for you again. And I'm going to add a layer mask here. Now, I'm going to go to a brush called Channel Painter. That brush is available to you from the last post, and it's in the HOS um, 213 Florals. Now, if you've never worked with a uh, layer mask before, black conceals and white reveals. So if the layer mask is white, that means everything on this particular layer is being revealed. You're seeing it. Um, if we go uh, use black, then it conceals it. So if I were to paint directly with black right here, you see how that went a lot lighter again? If I just go over the whole thing, what I'm going to get is see-through to the layer below. Now, I don't want to do that. Uh, not totally, anyway. <laughs> and so to keep from making it, you know, just a complete hole, what I do is I come up and start at a higher gray, somewhere, you know, between the halfway mark and the three-quarter mark, going from black to white. And then I come in and I start painting where I think 
the lighter colors need to be, you know, just based on what I'm seeing there. But I'm not using this um, method here with the uh, gray. I'm not really showing all of the potential white. I'm just lightening it some. And this brush also, uh, you know, is responsi responsive to pressure. So it you can do lighter or darker pressure to uh, affect what you see. And so this is the beginning. I'm just taking out or lightening some of the areas and leaving some areas uh, as they were. Now I need to take my brush down a little bit because there's there's actually detail in here and I want to kind of capture it. And that's not showing very much, but remember we had a light color. All right, so I'm going to come down now to about a quarter between, or halfway in between the halfway mark and the black mark. And I'll come in now, and I want the brush to be a little bit bigger. And I'll begin to paint with that darker color, so I'm uh, concealing more of this layer by doing that. And that brings out those lighter colors. Not lighter color. The, the value goes up because it's not a doubled image. But you can see how the rose is beginning to come out a little more out of its shell. <laughs> and one thing I forgot too is down here we've got a, a leaf that's on top of another leaf. And even this lighter value would be perfect. I'm just going to come in here and kind of define where that leaf is so we can see it. Now I just know that because I know what the image looks like. And if I just lighten the whole thing like that, it will separate that leaf from the background. Now what I'm going to do is go all the way to black. And that's going to really pop out some of the highlights. Kind of bring the rose more into being. See, that's pretty cool. And we'll just kind of maybe give a, a little midpoint here. So we separate the two sides of the leaf, make it a little bit more obvious. There we go. All right, so now that's what I would do to kind of uh, what I've done is increased the value in places. I've left it the same in other places. So if I were to turn this light on and off, this uh, visibility eye off, you can see what it looked like before we put that layer on and use the layer mask to kind of bring back uh, the color. Okay, so at this point, what I want to do is right-click the layer mask, and I want to apply the layer mask, okay? Now, I want to do that for a particular reason, because I'm going to come back and work on this image some more, and if I left the layer mask there, then there would be certain parts of the layer that would never be affected. Uh, it would always be hidden or, or concealed. So you want to apply it, and now I've got a clean slate to work on. Okay, and once again, if we turn that off, you can see the differences. All right, now I'm going to be back in just a minute or two uh, with the second part of the video, and it's uh, 
probably more interesting or will be more interesting for you. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.